what's up guys, Reese here. Welcome to another video. This is Iron Man Progress episode 162. This is a real step. This is step one of getting towards invention. Step one of two, I guess. Is it two? Yeah, let's call it step one of two. This is part one of two of getting in getting invention unlocked. This is actually probably gonna be the quick part. We have enough money for at least 91 prey now for super heat form. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is doing that. Um, I've got 100 Saren Stones. I'm only going to be using them on the hour. Every four hours on the hour. Or something like that. On the half an hour. So we're going to have to see. I do have some other stuff I'm going to be doing in between, hopefully. But yeah. This is what we're going to start. It should be a half an hour in about nine minutes. Uh, or, no, four minutes. I'm an idiot. And we've got 100. We just spent whatever that is to get 100 of them. And we're fucking ready to go. We're going to be making some Prayer XP. We have 88 Prayer. And we're doing this. If we, I haven't mentioned it a million times. For super heat form. So we can go mine gold ore in the living rock caverns. While getting smithing XP. Because it will turn it into gold bars. All the way to 80 smithing. Mining like 20,000 gold uh, bars. Um, and then once we get 80 smithing. We will have invention unlocked. Because we'll have 80 crafting. 80 divination. And 80 smithing. And then we will be inventing. Yes, boys. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't look at my UI. That's fucked. Um, it's not actually in use at the moment. I forgot about that. It's kind of cool. I would like that UI if you could resize things, like, better. Like, if you could resize this main ability bone, I could have that all fit in a nice square. That'd be so cool. Except you can't, because fuck you. All right. Let's get into it. Fuck! It's not half an hour. <laughs> that means it's time to make our house in Prif and do a bit of manual old school prayer, mate, by putting on an altar like a fucking... Like, like a bloody... What am I, a peasant using... Bones on an altar? Yuck! I've ever used air root bones um, on an altar, so this will be nice. Well, at least not like properly like this. I've only got 300 odd though, but look at my house, guys. How beautiful is it for my construction level of 90 construction boys? Look at this house. Have a look at it. You fucking love it, don't you? Get them burners going. Let's get the prey in. See how much XP you get per one of these bad boys. 464. Ooh. That's pretty good. If you are interested though, these are the bones we have. We have um, 318 air root bones, almost 1k dragon bones that we're going to use. Oh, we got some... Wait, hardened dragon bones? What? Aren't they ad adamant dragon bones or rune dragon bones? What did they change the name of them? Why are they called hardened? I thought they were addy dragon bones. What the fuck? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know if they changed the name or these are some other bones I've got that I don't realise. Anyway, so we've got those. 1k dragon bones, 300 arrows bones, some hardened dragon bones apparently. And then 700 odd infernal ashes. So we'll do those. See, wrong preset. <laughs> and see if we can um, get a level at least. See if that can save us a bit of coins. Just getting one level. I'd be happy with at least a level. I mean, I know I'm going to get more than a level from these, but yeah. That'd be cool. See how much XP you get per hardened dragon bone, which... Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's see. What do you get? What do you get, boys? 504, so better than aerobones. Bones. Awesome. Man, what, what level are Rune Dragons? Why do I not have them? Or I've never done them? Is there a skill requirement? Oh, no, I haven't unlocked that little dragon area place. I don't think I've done the quest there. That, that's probably why I can't do Rune Dragons. Oh, I haven't had Rune Dragons. Silly Gooba. Unless I have... Oh, I might have it. Might have the quest. No, no, I definitely... I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> hey! Teamwork protection, 89 prayer. Oi, let's go get cleansing. Oh, 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 is this magic? You know. Oh, do, 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 do. Cool though. Divine, you can make spirit shields at 90 prayer. I didn't even realize you had to do that. Oh, lucky I didn't grind out all that corp, am I right? Because I was about to do that, but I didn't realize I didn't have the platform player requirement. So it's one more level, 500k, that's all I need. And I got 70 cleansing stones. We're in business, boys. We're fucking good. Look at that. Ports Adventurer. Ooh, new port stuff. Cool. Yes, guys, one more level and we can do our superheating. We can do our fucking super... Yes! Guys, so we are um, done with the hours at the moment. Like We're just waiting on the hours and um, we've used pretty much all our main bones. I don't want to go into big bones and stuff. So in the meantime, because we do have like four, I think another 4k... Uh, gold ores in the bank, so we may as well get those done while we're, while we're waiting because that's not like really losing any XP I guess it kind of kind of is you're losing mining XP is what you can lo be losing But this is you know, they're in the bank may as well use them um, while we're waiting on the um, pr uh, Dennis half an hour. So yeah, just be doing a bit of smithing. Maybe we can get a level or two Probably not. All right guys about to get our, our first smithing level man manually smithing is taking ages 
And I gotta get to 80 while doing mining, which is probably gonna take even longer. But the thing about the mining is good because I would have to do it anyway. That's why it's okay. Because it's like a bonus. You have to do your mining anyway. I concentrated gold pretty much to like 89 or whatever for, for Seren Stones. So you may as well get smithing XP out of it anyway. So that's kind of the thing. But there we go. 71 smithing. And it just ticked over and it should be a new thing. And hopefully it should be half an hour right now. Hopefully. Is it? Come on. Load. No! <laughs> Okay, so either hasn't changed, or it's the wrong fucking hour. Fuck! It's another hour until Heffin. Oh, I'm so sad. What is- why is this guy's weapon spinning? What the fuck is going on? Who are you as well? It's not him, it's the other one. It's not him, it's the other one! What is happening? What the fuck is this? Your hands are like, bro broken, man. You- What the fuck, Jagex? What have you done? I don't know, his shirt is making it like his hands are fucked as well, it's incredible. I've just doubled my dunge challenge, I'm at the last boss, about to finish it, and I just remembered I've got 99 range now, so I can use my saggy bow. I've got, okay, I've got a court bow as well, I don't know what that is, hopefully that's a shit one, but the saggy one's the tier 99. So the problem is here, I don't have an arrow. I'll equip that just, just as a, like a test, just maybe in case you can like... <gasps> no, up here you idiot. Can't do that? Okay, never mind. Alright, we'll just put this in here, see if I can grab that, for now. Using primary light. Fucking, I don't know how this works. Do I have it? Yes. Maybe for some reason you don't need you don't need arrows for the saggy bow. I got a big feeling you do. It is lit up, which I don't know if it lights up without arrows or not. Who knows? Let me try to attack something. There's nothing around. What a waste of commentary, guys. But yeah, I got this, so I'll be at least hunting for some arrows soon. Because, you know, this should be better, tier 99. Let's see, can I attack? <gasps> oh, you don't need arrows? For the sag... Do I... Oh, no, I have Sagittarian arrows. I never saw that. Awesome! Alright, this is... You have to get some... This is not, not hitting well on this guy, but there we go. T99 bow coming in. Awesome, that's... I didn't... Ah, oh, fuck you, I don't care, bro. You're shit. Awesome, though. We got that. Take the fucking play legs off. That's obviously not going to help me. <laughs> Just look at this deeps, mate, on my T99 bow. See ya, bro. Thanks for playing today. See ya. Yeah, fucking book slut. All right. That's done. Cool. So that'll be our new, like, setup then. T99 bow. Loving it. Awesome. While we're waiting on a half an hour, because I went to bed, so it's a different... Now I'm waiting again on a different hour. We're going to just be doing some stuff. My fucking interface keeps on resetting. Like, you move it up, and it's saved, right? But then it, like, moved itself. I don't know when. It must have been in that loading screen just then, which is fucking retarded. Sorry, that's rude. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing some stuff now. We've done that. We're going to be doing a clue scroll. And we want to put change our house a bit. We want to get the uh, prawn balls going or the aquarium or whatever. Because I haven't messed with any of that. I didn't really even do it when it came out in the game on the on my main there. 167k XP. Awesome. So we're going to do that. And we're going to get the perk. I don't know how you get perks. But we're going to get the perk where you don't need bait to fish. So we'll do that. But yeah, in the meantime, let's quickly knock out a clue. And then we'll make some things while waiting on the hour of Heffin. And then once we get the Heffin hour, we should be able to get... 91 prayer. Wow, Alt-1, look at this. Menophos, look at your map, Alt-1. That is Menophos. Are you fucking kidding me? You're disgusting. Menophos doesn't look like that. Also, Alt-1 probably has an update. I probably just haven't done it. But yeah, there we go. Let's see if this clue is going to be broken. Hopefully it still works. I'm not even sure what pyramid it is now. I think it's this one. We'll give it a dance. That's a headbang. Give it a dance, though. Stop. Give it a dance. Yes, it works. Great. Okay, now we're going to fuck you up, boy. Look at this. What's this buff? You're receiving 5% XP boost factories in Metaphors and Softman's Slay Dungeon. Lovely. I had my halberd not equipped when I clicked it. Fucking game. What the hell? I just got 25 rep for that. Wow, okay. I know you guys have been yelling at me to do soul obelisks. I haven't exactly been avoiding them. I haven't done any. I know I haven't done any, but that's because I don't know. I don't... I haven't seen them come up. I know they come up like every 30 minutes or, or something, or they last for 30 minutes or something like that, but I honestly haven't seen one. Um, I'm probably just missing it in the chat. Probably announces really loud and I'm an idiot. But also, I don't even know, like, what, what do you get from the rep? Like, I wasn't actually, actually, like, fishing for rep and stuff like that. I was just fishing for fish. Like, is there anything they actually get that's good? Oh, bank chests are pretty good. But it seems like this is all, like... Oh, no, that, okay, the woodcutting one, that obviously permanently increased your woodcutting success rate. That was always just a straight-up XP gain. So I guess, you know, some of these actually are good. But the rest of them just seem, like, really cosmetic and kind of, like, easy, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try to... If I can figure out how the, uh, that, um, obelisk thing works, I'll give it a go. N maybe. <laughs> I, I will, but I, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not hunting them down. But if I'm in there when I see one, I'll do it, okay? Okay. Alright, this guy called Zonak just said, nice vids, dude. So he's just given me the luck. 
He's blessed me with his wisdom. I'm now going to get a die. You ready, mate? Oh, you fuck. Okay, I can still re-roll it. I'm still getting a die. Ooh, not a die. Blue... Oh, because... Because, uh... Because, uh, fortune components. I was about to say, blue di chaps is 700k. Right, of course. How do they look? Don't leave them on the floor. Oh, that's a back dra dragon hide body. Um, how do they look? Hey, stop fucking moving. They look cool. They look like Sara chaps. Are they really blue dragon hide? Blue dragon hide T. Wow. They look so much like Sara. Maybe. I don't know. I know Sara's like really light blue. Cool. Another thing to the collection. Oh, it's annoying because I want fortunate components because I want like that ring of stone or whatever. Or is that not fortunate components? Like the, the cool new ring. Um... Anyway, so I want I want fortunate components, but I also love my fucking clue scroll collection, as you guys know. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. And I liked it because I didn't have to do anything with it, and I could collect it freely, and it was fun. And now I'm going to have to, like, destroy it all, pretty much, which is going to make me sad, because it's like the fortunate components are, like, so worth it. But look how pretty this is. Let's see what this looks like together. Probably shit. Almost matches. Almost matches. Not enough. But yeah, that's annoying. I don't want to get rid of this. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this aquarium going. How do you build an aquarium? Can we build it here? Should we build it here? Let's make a nice square. Let's see. Is aquarium an actual room? Games room. Combat room. It would be near the bottom. Treasure room. Dungeon. Obelisk. Aquarium. Okay. Build. Do we want to build it there? I don't know. It's like right up against fucking hell, I'm an idiot, whatever, you can, can you change it later on these days? I don't know, I think old school's got like weird, like a new, like, they rewrote the whole thing where you can kind of move stuff. Let's see, what do you need for all this? Prawn biker, that's how you spend your points, I think. So, just teak, teak planks? Oh, mahogany and a porthole. Now, I, I think you get portholes from fishing, so for, for now, maybe we'll just, oh, I don't know, leave me alone, what can you do in here? Seaweed, so that's just cosmetic, I think, or something. Yeah, okay. Diving suit. Oyster suit. Supply hotspot. So I think we'll just quickly do some fishing for now, see if we get anything. Um, like, any portholes and stuff, because I'm, I'm pretty sure you fish them up and then I need them, so we'll, we'll see. We'll just do a fishing for like 10 minutes and then if not, we'll just try to make some of this stuff. Actually, never mind, I need prawn balls. That's how you get the, uh, the thing. Prawn balls are an item regularly obtained whilst fishing. They are earned for every 35,000 life points worth of caught... Fish caught fishing. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've done a lot of that. I don't think I have any prawn balls, but I think maybe that's because I probably didn't have the aquarium until now. So, yes, unless I've got a bunch of prawn balls in my house, we might just have to just make the stuff now. We'll see. I said prawn balls in my house. I mean, like, unless I have lots of prawns or whatever, prawn balls just sitting in my bank already, I think we'll just have to go do it now. Let's just see what we've got in our bank. I know we've got some of those, uh, those little fish ones, the eggs, the golden eggs. I'm not sure what you do with those. Yeah, no, no prawn balls, but we do have some golden eggs, which, golden lobster eggs, golden shark eggs, golden monkfish eggs, not sure we do that. But let's just grab some hog and the planks for now. I believe this video is 13 minutes already, but you guys like my rambling apparently. Also, I grabbed some teaks, just in case. So what's important? That's not, I don't think, it's, that, this one's important. Let's get some, uh, let's get this buddy going, okay. Get you going, I'm not sure what you do. Prawn perks, can we start some already? You have three prawn points to spend, great. Gain prawn balls more frequently. Rod fishing without... That's the one I wanted. Does that cost one? Yes. Let's see what else. Gain prawn balls more frequently. This one sounds pretty good. I can't believe... Why? That's so cool. Like, how did I get three already? Is that just for making? What can I do here? Every time you catch a golden fish egg, you can get a prawn point. Okay. Oh, that's why I've got three. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, what should we use? What's the last one? Gain 10 prawn. What's the prawn penny? pennies? Should I be doing that? I'll just leave this one now. You guys tell me what I should do with it. Can I make any of this? Say anything? No. No. Diving suit. That, you probably want to do that. Fishbowl bronze bar. Fishbowl bronze bar telescope lens. Don't have any telescope lens. Don't have a port bowl. So fishbowl and a bronze bar is like the only one I can actually do there. Mahogany planks, raw sharks. Oh, I can do this one. Mahogany planks, raw great right shark, raw shark. Okay, we'll do that. Wait, is, oh, that doesn't actually do anything, does it? So never mind. Um, actually, we have a great white shark, I think. Oh, would we have a shark head? I don't know. Let's see. Let's get the fish bowl and the bronze bars for now. See if that 
See if we can do anything under there. Like, uh, can we get that thing yet? Like, where you get the elite clue per month or whatever? Alright, let's get my bloody diving suit, sons. Let's fucking go. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's... I don't know if we can dive. Let's get down here. Let's get into the normal mode. And let's go for a bloody swim. Enter the house like a normal person. Um... Yes, this looks like something. Wait, should we clear view fish list? What does it matter what fish are in there? Oh, doors. What are they like? Fucking annoying doors. Open cunt. <laughs> view fish list. Does that matter? Oh, cool. Found one prawn ball. How have I found zero? <laughs> um, operate. Oh! Are we in there? It's going to be completely empty. Awesome. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> can we put something in there? Or can we not do anything yet? Uh, clear floor. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh, shut up. Anyway, I don't think that matters at the moment. So we're fine. We got this. We got the no the no fishing thing is what people ask me for. So if you want me to do anything else to there, make sure you tell me, guys. But so far, that's pretty cool. And yeah, so I got that. I got increased chance of prawn balls. And I have the aquarium, so I can probably get them now. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure if I was getting them before. The prawn... The ones that you crack open on people. That's... that's I don't think I was getting them before. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's go do a bit of fishing, though. See, this is what I'm talking about. My first, like, ever thing. Fucking hell. It's the first time, like, first inventory, you just get one. Elk, unkill. So I have to use it on someone or not. I can use it on, my pe on myself, apparently. Prawn pound. You have now increased chance to find golden fish eggs. Cool. So we can do that now. But the, the main thing that's so good about the bait is that obviously I'm not running out of bait. Also, I've got a lot of programs open, so I'm lagging, sorry. But I can also just do this. Now. Boom. Bank it all in one inventory, which is fucking awesome. Yay. We're doing a bit of fishing. We're also working towards, we might as well be getting rep in the ports district. So permanently improve your fishing success rate within the ports district. We're going to have so much fish by the time we're like 99. It's going to be so quick. We're going to have so much. And we could, is fish venture like, is this good? Better than waterfall here? I don't know. Because um, you're going to be getting so much stuff. Like you, you can actually cook it. It's like 1650 heels. So it's going to be so good for Slayer and stuff. Like it's actually stupid. And the cooking XP as well, like, the waterfall fishing, you don't get cooking XP, so this might be, like, better overall, to be honest. Jesus, you get these, like, once in inventory or something, what the fuck? I know it said 35,000, uh, what do you call it? Heels, which I guess, they're a thousand, over a thousand each, yeah, that's gonna be, like, one in inventory, Jesus. Cool. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, instead of just recording every single one I open, because that would take, that would be annoying, I'll just probably just bank them all and open them all at once, even though I'm probably losing something worth it, but... For this video, at least. I mean, I'm not going to be doing too much fishing at the moment. The half an hour is almost upon us, and we just did a bit of fishing. As you can see, we've got 27 of these fellas. Three prawn points to spend, or perk points. Just open these. Let's just fucking click. I don't think there's anything, like, rare you can get. Oh, this is going to fuck my bank. How much of this shit do I even need? Does this matter at all? Let me go get the mahogany planks and just walk into my house with this. <laughs> I don't know if anything... If this is anything... Um, barren sharks. Cool. They're actually food. Let's see what do they do? 2k and then they, is it the one that gets, keep an extra item or heals you over time or something? I don't know. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go head to the house and see if we can do anything with any of this. We've got four prawn pounds, which I, can only be used for one thing, right? You can high arc them for 6k each though, which is fucking interesting. <laughs> Penny, what can that be used for? Isn't that what the pound was used for as well? What a what a fucking mess. Tree golden egg. Wait, wait, wait. Golden cavefish egg. Cool. I think. Uh, let's see. Any of this stuff I can make now. Oh, no, I don't, I don't, don't exactly want to remove it. No, I don't remove it. Is it like an upgrade thing? Oh, my God. I'm probably going to be stupid doing this. Bye. Hope I don't lose perks. There you go. Prawn perks. Are they still there? Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. I think I can get all the perks, so... What's this? Did this actually do anything? I didn't... I don't know if that l did anything. Oh, it's just a decoration. So what, I've used all my perks now? Can I spend them on what? I can't spend them. Oh. Ooh. The next tier of perks now, apparently. Ooh. Fly fishing without feathers... Gain prawn balls more, more effectively or whatever. Cool. Tuna egg. Let's see. Can I do anything here? Nope. 
I want to check that, but I also don't want to remove my thing. So we'll just leave that. Oh, no. We can do that. I don't know if that's anything. Just a thing. Cool. Um, no, don't go down. Hey, 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 hey. Put a treasure chest in there. How can I do that? Oyster. Put an oyster in there. Placing oyster. Do it. Do it, you pussy. Place some seaweed. <laughs> so anything that actually does anything in there. Cool. And then the fishing guild thing I just made. Dope. A few fish list. We've got a lot of fish coming in now. Um, yeah, let's quickly go outside the house. Enter portal. And then we'll see what we can do in there now. See if we've done anything good. What am I doing with all this crap? Do I throw this away? Virago decoration. That sounds pretty good, actually. So let's uh, go down into the house. I don't want to spend too long, like I say, because I've got to do the thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. They just go in there. So I can place them down now. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> I don't think you can do anything with this. Does this give you XP or something? Just counting the seaweed? Oh, farming XP. 10. <laughs> Dope. Cool. So we'll have a look at this more in a, in a second. Probably put some other stuff. But I'm pretty sure once we come out here, it's half an hour. So let's go. Yes. Let's go get some XP, boys. Guys, here it is. This should be 91 prayer right here. Da da da. 91 prayer. So good. More prayer points. My phone's beeping. Super heat form. That's the one we fucking want. And because we, we, we don't have a. Prayer renewals, which you'd use on a normal account, so we're going to have to go look into just using normal prayer pots with a lot of prayer gear. So we're going to see if we can find some good prayer gear that we already have, or maybe some that's easily accessible, I'm not sure. And we'll see how fucked up this is and how viable this actually is, because we've worked so f hard towards this. I hope it's not a piece of shit. Guys, time to test it out. We've got our fucking welfare prayer gear, the best stuff we could quickly get out of our bank and that. So we've got Initiate, uh, Dragon Rider Amulet, Armadil Cloak, Sardamon Crozer, uh, God Wars Dungeons Boots and Gloves. This is n no one, not the right world. No, it is. Just no one running. So yeah, we got this. We're going to try this for a little bit and see how this works. Because everyone uses prayer renewals. I don't have prayer renewals. So I'm just using normal prayer pots. And I'm going to see how quick all my points drain and everything before I do it. I think I'm going to be banking the bars as well. I'm not sure. Because I think they might be good to just destroy down for simple parts from invention or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll see, I might bank the bars, might not. Not 100% sure on that, might just drop them. But yeah, we'll see how fast my prayer drains with this shitty gear. If not, we're going to have to do a few quests to get our prayer up. I don't have goldsmith and gauntlets on. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, fucking hell. But yeah, if our prayer drains unreasonably fast, like I have to bank more than like once every half hour or something like that, then yeah, I'm not going to be happy. And I'll just do some quests to get some more prayer gear, like proselyte or something like that, because I haven't done slug minutes apparently. So yeah, goldsmith and gauntlets... I just smash at this, or I guess that's all you do. No other, no other difference here. This is gonna be torture. <laughs> Look how long this is taking. I have to buy twenty thousand of them. Oh no, eighty smithing. You're gonna take so long. There you go. So I think you get the exact same XP you would normally, though, right? It's not like it's a little percentage or anything like that. So hopefully this is uh doesn't kill me. I guess I'll do this for a bit and I'll see how long these prayer pots last. Oh no, I'm not liking this. This is quicker to just fucking... Oh no, look at it. But like I say, it's, it's alright because you need the mining XP anyway. But this is, this is going to take me forever. Actually, this isn't going to be too painful if I'm not uh, banking. If I just drop it, it's not too bad. It doesn't seem to be using too much prayer pots. Like, a whole like inventory almost and I've gone down like 150 points or something. But yeah, we'll see. Um, I do have lots and lots and lots of prayer pots, so it's not too bad. You guys uh, tell me in the comments if, like, say if I go do those quests and stuff, how much prayer pots is it really going to save me over doing this? Is it going to save me like 10 prayer pots or is it going to save me like 500, you know? Because it's only a few pots, so I'm like, fuck it, you know? I can't bother doing the quests at the moment because I'm lazy, can't. But look, you do this, you get some stuff in your inventory. Let me just pick them up just so I can show you. I got up my ability bar, right? And then you just spam like this. And the ability bar, it's all dropping that quick. Just like bloody auto hotkeys, like I'm a fucking old school boy. But there we go. Awesome. Not too bad, actually. Which means, I suppose, it's time to end this video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you like it, subscribe and see more. In the next video, depends how long this takes, we might be AD smithing, we might be, like, given up and killed ourselves by then. Who knows? But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. I've been Miss RS. Like if you like it, subscribe and see more.